rabbits. Look at them jumping. Playing with each other in my backyard. Sorry for the shakiness. It's an old camera. I put it, zoom it in. It's, uh, it's hard to hold it still. Oh, they were playing with each other, jumping over each other. And I think they're just relaxing. Enjoying the beautiful day. It's beautiful. Hi, and welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. Hello there, my darlings. I hope you're all having a lovely day, and thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to do a, a little bit of a taste test slash review of this KD Flavor Boost Buffalo Wings. And right now, I am cooking, cooking the pasta. Uh, I've never had this before. Let me know if you have and if you enjoy it. And I'm just going to make it up. And uh, we'll give it a, a 10 out of 10 being uh, like uh, really awesome. Or like one being not so good. So I'm going to rate it. I forgot to say too, this is a limited edition. Buffalo Wings Flavor Boost for craft Dinner. So I have opened it. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like inside. And it does smell. It has, I guess, kind of the buffalo smell. I'm not really sure, though, but it does have a smell. So there's the craft Dinner. I haven't put the Boost in yet, but I'm going to. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put the, the, the sauce in it. But here's the me pouring the buffalo so there'll be two. Let me know down below. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. So here it is, finished um, with the boost. I'm going to try it now. It smells spicy. Okay, it's a closer look. Well, it's very spicy, but I'm not sure if it tastes like buffalo wings. It just tastes spite, like really spicy. For the spice factor, I would give it um, a 10 out of 10, like that, uh, either a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 for that spiciness. If you don't like spice, do not get this. But I give this about an 8 out of 10 all around. So, yeah, I'd probably get it again. Like, my husband couldn't eat this. That'd be way too spicy for him. Hope that helps you out, and let me know if you've tried it. I'd love to hear. This is at the mall. It's at our mall. I just thought it was a neat car. Can't get it fully there. So does anybody know what this case is? This was found at um, a family member of mine, were, uh, volunteers at a, a thrift store, and they found this case for me. And inside, let's, well, let's see what they have inside of the case. It's a pretty big case. Oh, I see. They've got two hats in there. But really, is this really a, a hat case? I will show you the bottom of it. It says it's, I think it says it's made in um, the U.S. And here's one of the hats. And there's... It says Canadian hat, Montreal, Canada. It 
it's like a it's not a felt but like kind of like that kind of material and this looks like it's leather kind of so there's that hat and here's the second hat I didn't particularly want this hat but they got it for me anyways um, because it's not really my type of hat, like style of hat that I gravitate towards. But there's that. Um, and here's the... I don't think this is a vintage. I don't think this is vintage, this one. But anyways... Now this is the bottom and it says made in USA and that says Pat Pen. I don't know. It's got a like a hole there. So let's see. That's the bottom of it. And that's just what it looks like inside without anything inside of it. So let me know if you know anything about this. I'd love to hear. This was also um picked up for me this really darling bag and it seems brand new it was from like I said a family member works at volunteers at a thrift store and they saw this and they saw the hats were on it and thought of me because they know how much I love hats and this is just such a cute bag and look at these handles just really darling I'll show you the inside but um, I was so excited for this as well and I think they're on the back too. Yeah, it's all over the purse. So this is going to be a little difficult, but this does like um, buckle there. Sorry, it buckles there. There is a, an inside zipper. And that's what the make is. And it, there is a tag in there that says made in China, but it's purple inside. It's just a really darling little bag. I'm so grateful for it. I'm thankful for it. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for $5. It was originally $10. But I got it for $5. And it's the Chronicles of Avonlea, L.M. Montgomery. And it's not in the, the best of shape, but... I had to have this for my collection. Um, and if you don't know who L.M. Montgomery is, there she is there. She's famous for like Anna Green Gables and Rotat and Lee and all that stuff. That This was written in. And it looks like the person was from, um, I think N.B. is New Brunswick, I think. I don't know. Um... So the Chronicles of Avonlea and copy right 1912 and then the first Canadian edition September 1946 and the sixth printing is 1967 and it says printed and bound in Canada the Ry Ryerson Press Toronto and there's the contents so anyways and I'll show you what the book looks like without the the cover on it that's red like that the dust cover I guess they call it so I was very happy oops gonna be careful very happy to get this in my collection and there's the back of it see it is like torn kind of there but like for five dollars awesome so if that was a facebook market place find 